Gabriel met with or introduced himself or lack of introduction to Muhammad. Aunt Warika, who informed Muhammad that it was Gabriel inside of the cave that he met. What would be your response to something like that? And, and it was quite clear the angel Gabriel in fact showed himself to the Prophet peace with, in all his majesty and glory. Why is it a problem that the angel didn't introduce themselves? Gabriel met with or kind of introduced himself or lack of introduction to Muhammad and it was Muhammad's uh, I think aunt Warika who informed Muhammad that it was Gabriel inside of the cave that he met. Um, I'm sure you guys have heard this before, but what would be your response to something like that? So, so th this is often a question that's asked, and it's uh, it, it's there's an assumption with the question, which is that Gabriel never. Uh, told the prophet peace upon him who he was or the prophet never actually identified him as Gabriel Jibril alayhi salam may Allah be pleased with him uh, actually that's not true now this first episode or first incident where the first few verses of the Quran were revealed it is true that the prophet had a, 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 an experience that was outside of this world it was a, it was something incredible powerful and he was shaken he was very much shaken by his experience now, one of the very interesting things about this is that uh, Leslie Hazelton and um, also the historian um, 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 the British historian Imran uh, um, uh, what's her name? Sorry. The British uh, b b uh, comparative religion historian, the ex-nun, Karen Armstrong. Uh, Karen Armstrong and also Leslie Hazelton, who are both non-Muslims, by the way, they talk about similar episodes in the Bible when revelation is it, it comes to certain prophets or messengers that they are deeply shaken by and awe-inspired by their first encounter, as it were. Uh, and so they and Leslie Hazelton, being a psychologist, she actually says this isn't unusual. This is exactly what you would expect a person who was truthful to actually say, because somebody who's a liar, a charlatan, they will come down all calmly and say, I have just spoken to the angel Gabriel, and this is the message that he's given me. This, this is what a charlatan would do. But somebody who's had an out, out of this out of this world experience with the, uh, the angel Gabriel, uh, they, you would exactly expect, and from a psychological point of view, this is what Leslie Hazelton herself says. And the reason why I, I state these two people is because both of them are not Muslims. And so it's very much uh, what you would expect to find. But later, certainly, uh, and Waraka being learned, he recognized that this message that he'd received and the manner in which he's received this message, he was familiar with the, uh, with the other prophets and how they received revelation. And he immediately said that this was the angel Gabriel and said that I wish I were a younger uh, man. Uh, I would have uh, I would have stood by you and defended you while your people will uh, uh, will turn you out. And it was interesting because the prophet, peace upon him, questioned him and he said, will, will my people turn me out? And he said, never has there been a message like this. A revelation like this, but the people opposed it. The people fought it. The people, um, you know, uh, persecuted the followers of of uh, of God. So that was the first episode, but then the revelation was coming after that, and and it was quite clear. The angel Gabriel, in fact, showed himself to the prophet peace with in all his majesty and glory, and the pro there was no there was no confusion after that point. And in fact, there were many times when the angel Gabriel would come with revelation and the companions would say, because remember Mecca and Medina, these were very small cities. We're not talking about hundreds of thousands of people. We're talking about thousands of people who know each other. They know everybody. Uh, they know the, the people coming in and going out and everything else, right? And they would say that sometimes they would have a person who would show up that they wouldn't recognize. 
and he would have no signs of travel on him. And in a, des in a, in a desert, I don't know if any of you have lived in, a, in Dubai or Saudi Arabia or any of these places, even if your windows and your doors are shut, if everything is closed, the dust of the desert actually will come onto your furniture. It will come onto your everywhere. You'll get it everywhere, basically. You have to dust. You have to clear and vacuum every day. Otherwise, you'll have this layer of dust. And that's with everything closed. Now, obviously, traveling on a camel, traveling on a horse or whatever, a person would be completely covered in that desert dust and the desert sand and what have you. But there would be no signs of travel, perfectly pristine white clothes. And then certain things would be said to the prophet, peace be on you, and then he would inform the people that this was Gabriel who came to teach you your religion. So, yes, there was this first incident, but it's not unusual. And according to, as I said, historians who are themselves not Muslims, um, and they, they compare it to biblical narratives of other prophets who receive revelation, it's actually quite in line with what you would expect it to, to find and, and to happen. So I don't know if that answers your question, um, or anyway, if the doctor wants to add anything to that, uh, by all means, please do. Uh, sorry, well, hey, uh, oh, sorry, go on. You were going to respond. I know that Abbas spoke, so please go ahead. Well, I guess my first, and that, thank you for sharing that, but I guess my first question and to clarify, so is it true that at the first kind of episode, as you described it, Gabriel did not introduce himself as Gabriel? Is that true? Yes. Yeah, so we believe that the angel Gabriel, the prophet, peace upon him, used to go to the mountain uh, Hira where he would um, uh, meditate. And one night he feels a presence. He feels a, a strong presence of something and he's somewhat shaken. And the prophet is then informed to read. And he says that I'm unlettered. I, I cannot read. And the angel Gabriel holds him tight and says, read. And then this happens two or three times. And then the first verses of the Quran are given. So shortly after this, the prophet, peace upon him, he leaves the, the mountain, stumbling back to his wife shaken by this experience but from my understanding the brothers can correct me but the angel gabriel does not formally introduce himself i am the angel gabriel i am coming with this revelation and i want you to read it's a very if you if in fact if you look at it it's a very majestic way there's no introduction there's a presence and then there's the word read the first word that's mentioned is the word that exists in the quran which is the revelation itself uh, which is the most important thing. So, I mean, I, do, I mean, do you have a, an issue with that? Do you have a problem? With, I mean, please do give me your uh, your your opinion about that because clearly you want this argument to go somewhere. You've thought about this. What's your what's your problem with it? What's your assertion about this? <clears throat> no, I just wanted to understand that uh, under when in the first episode, if they if the Gabe, if Angel Gabriel never introduced himself as Angel Gabriel. And he was informed, Muhammad was informed by what Warika, that it was the angel. I know that later, uh, when they did have other episodes, uh, he was described as Angel Gabriel. But the first inception of their meeting, there was no established relationship between Muhammad and the angel Gabriel. Okay. Why yeah, is that problematic? Like you're saying why, that, why, why, why is that problematic for you? That's a, let's get let's 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 sort of um, not beat around the bush. Why is that problematic for you? Just just give the give the reason. I guess the problem would be that uh, that first incident itself, you couldn't say with confidence that it was Angel Gabriel. Now after that. Uh, when they had their second, third, fourth episode, and they were in, and Gabriel introduced himself as Angel Gabriel, now we can say that that was Angel Gabriel. But the first incident, we can't say with any confidence that it is Angel Gabriel. So it, I guess it, it, that is my. So, so it, it, so Why is that a problem? Why is that a problem? No, no, let's, follow that, let's follow that line of logic then. You're Why saying, is that a problem? You, you're, but you're saying you're saying that Angel Gabriel. 
Uh, afterwards, it was established that it was Angel Gabriel, i.e. the angel sent by God to give revelation to the prophet, peace be upon him. If the first episode, the first encounter was not Angel Gabriel, do you not think that Angel Gabriel would have said, by the way, you know, the first encounter, that was not me. That was something else. That was somebody uh, can else. I, can I just clarify something? Because very important. Please, go ahead, doctor. So uh, he goes, why is it a problem? That the angel didn't introduce themselves for, for you i want to understand because there is there's a few things here that are sort of not that don't make sense but i'm going to try and hopefully iron them out if i can if the brothers give me permission so what's the problem with the is there a problem with the angel not introducing themselves in the first instance well no the the, the only issue is that in that first incident alone you can't say with confidence that it was angel gabriel correct no so the question, I understand what you're saying. The question I'm asking you is, is it a problem? What's the problem with it? I guess the only problem that I'm just trying to understand is whether that first isolated incident, was it, can you say it with confidence that it was Angel Gabriel? And I guess the answer is no, right? No, no, I, no that's not the correct. That's not the correct. Because there, you're, there's a... The, the, I, what I'm trying to understand is the point of the question. So let's 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 get let's give the case case scenario that uh, I'm, I'm given the scenario. The prophet peace be upon him didn't know because we know that he was worried after this. He didn't know who came to him. Okay, I won't talk about the message because the message is very insightful. But the didn't know who came in that first incident. So what? What's the point? Oh. What's the problem with it? It could have been anybody in there with yeah. Muhammad, correct? Yeah. What's the, what's the? Let's assume. No, no. I'm not saying that. I want you to tell me what the problem is. You give me the problem. 